In this video, I want to show you how I came up with these results from Viscom and Photoshop together. It all started with a simple sketch and I used the AI power, of course, to speed up my process. However, AI, if you try it yourself, it's not like you just click once and done, boom, you got the amazing results. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. That's why I wanted to make this video to rather than showing you only before after, you will also see all the ugly and <laughs> unwanted results that happened on the way. So this is the beginning. This is a very simple sketch that I did, especially to experiment with Viscom, I did this sketch. Probably the original one was a little bit more dirt here, but I cleaned it with very simple lines and very simple shading here. And I got the rims from another Viscom file that I did before. So this way I have the perfect circle wheels and very simple sketch. I know the sketch itself doesn't look appealing at the moment and it doesn't matter because the goal is not to share this or show it as a design proposal. It's only a simple clean beginning. Because when you put a dirty sketch sometimes it gets more chaotic results because every line you put here on Viscom AI it considers as a data so you need to be careful there. But the best thing is experimenting. So clean your sketch and also try with the dirty one you might get different results. So at the beginning here, I will show you first on my layers panel here, by the way, it's not like a beginner's tutorial. If you're a beginner to AI or Photoshop, if you don't know them, if you're not confident, you can learn both from my courses for Photoshop course for car design and AI for car design courses at bertkaplan.com. Because we might go a little bit faster here. I will not show you how to use exactly the Viscom because I did also tons of videos before about it. So here on the layers, I'm going to show you the ones that I selected. This one was done with the exterior V2 style. And I was like, okay, it's not bad. Let's keep it. And then this one was done with the Viscom General V2. Honestly, it's not bad at all. Like I like this spoiler area and overall the reflections of the car. A little bit too bulky on the front. Another one was probably the refined version of this sketch, this result. And then I used again the exterior V2 and I got this result. And I really like that one because again, I like this rear spoiler area and I really like this contrast between the graphical elements because also on the original sketch it was quite similar so it kept really close to my sketch and I really like it. So after that point as I see I tried another one and another one it got a bit more cleaned probably I refined it with a lower drawing influence but when I look this this style is pretty nice. So what happened next is I just generated 3D model out of it. If you missed the latest updates from Viscom, now you can generate 3D details and it is way more quality, higher quality than the previous 3D models. So here are the 3D models. Like once you generate it, you can just duplicate your layer and I have two of them. So I put them in different angles and I created a white layer on the background for rendering the car from different angles at the same time. So I put them in different angles, like a different composition on my canvas. And then I started rendering them. And I guess this was the first result, like from three different angles, the same card, the original one, the side view is here. I didn't re-render it in this case, but based on the 3D model of this side view, we got the rear quarter and the front quarters. So it was nice until here. And if you watched my previous video about Viscom, you saw that I showed until this moment. What happened next is I re-rendered this one to see different results. I guess this was rendered with the Viscom General V2 and also refined it further. Like quite similar results anyway. That's like the black and white car with a strong contrast. I like it. But what I wanted to experiment after that was using a reference image to get more metallic and different vibes for the overall image. At the end I was experimenting. So I used some reference images and this was one of the results that I was like Okay, interesting colors, but that's not what I, I want. And the point is, it most of the time AI doesn't give you the exact image you have in your mind, even if you have an image in your mind. So it's important to be open-minded while using AI. But when I reached to this one, I quite liked it. It was not perfect, but when I reached here, I was like, okay, here I see some really nice potential. I still have the graphic elements that I had on the original one still the contrast between them and now we have this metallic colors like the metallic material with the reflective colored lights and so on so at this point i was very happy with it and how i came here was the using reference image this was my reference image i generated this car on mid journey again if you are not comfortable if you are a beginner with ai 
you can generate also the super cool cars from mid journey and use it as a reference on viscom and also in my ai for car design course i covered this mid journey topic as well so that's how it happened until here and as you see like between the rear view and the front view the images are like cut it very roughly because i was using my mouse to erase the parts in between and that's why here are some like discontinuity and it's like a quite dirty overall composition i would say that's why i exported this image i went to photoshop and i started cleaning them first of all i separated them so for example the side view is the biggest one like the biggest quality because also on the original image it was the biggest and as you see on the top parts i just erased them on photoshop and just painted roughly and i sketched with the white brush to emphasize like give this some sketchy feeling and also i cleaned some areas like here on this part i made it totally dark on the original one we got some artifacts here actually not artifact but it was like a body color here and i was what if it's totally dark and i brought back the contrast here and also on the rear i did similar things i did some changes and used the brush strokes so this is like totally manual work over the viscom results and the same thing here i did for the front view i changed the design of the front as well but the image quality was quite low as you see like the car looks even a little bit blurred but still it was quite good practice i already had some nice images to support my design to increase the quality of it to clean the images more i went back to viscom but i went to a new file and here you can see this is the sketch from photoshop and i just refined it further this is first step refinement but i was not super convinced and i refined another one and this one was quite clean so i really like this result this was for the side view for the front this was the photoshop sketch as you see the blurred and the sharp lines combined because of the sketch over technique and then the first refinement and second refinement i'm not even sure which one i picked both are super cool i think i picked this one because i like this front light here you can call it a reflection of like a light source from the side or it can be even like a detail of the car it's not like a result finished detail of course but the overall image and seeing the car from different angle was the key and let's go back to the rear view this was the photoshop result again the blurred image and the first refinement and the second refinement it looks way more clean and it sticks to the original design sticks to original photoshop results as well and this is the whole process i also wanted to show you the ugly results that i didn't even show you yet let's go back to there on the original file if you go to this left bottom corner generation history if you didn't know you can see all the results you generated through this file for example this one i didn't even pick that one like i didn't even edit to layers this one i guess also not this one not and this one i selected here another results wow that's actually not bad when i look back now this only the white like only white part is on the side and the rest is it's actually not bad seriously i can <laughs> use it for another project or something here are some other results they are not bad though but we will see also some uglier ones again we see some more results even like a subtle changes in between here is the ones that i liked let's go forward all right these are the weird ones because of the way you use the reference image now you have style and the material options on the reference image and you can definitely experiment with both of them here are some refinements over them these are the ones we liked i liked but as you see for example this i don't like because the car got super wobbly a lot of reflections it's a little bit too much i'm not sure about it this one is probably the one we picked it's the nice one but this one again too many things happening i'm looking especially on the side of the car too many reflections a little bit too chaotic this one is also not bad and then here are some other results i think on this one for example i decreased the drawing influence and re-render over it and the car changed a little bit too much there are some other alternatives like it's interesting i like this <laughs> color combinations happen there but other than that the car changed a lot and i don't like it and these ones are also like i tried with the brush strokes with the mouse because i didn't have my tablet while experimenting with it as i see and with the brush strokes i tried to clean and then regenerate and it acted weird out of it so you might get this kind of weird results while experimenting that's why i wanted to show you look look at these flames i don't even know why it happened it's kind of cool but it doesn't fit to what i wanted and a little bit too i don't know hollywood type of things happening another one and another one let's say so these are the results like let's speed up a little bit these are some of the results that i don't even show 
during my process, what happened during my process. That's why I wanted to make this video to show you if you get unwanted results, it's a very natural part of this process. Working with AI, you need to have this open-minded approach. Then it can support your creativity as well. As I mentioned, if you are a beginner, you can learn car design from berkaplan.com. I have online courses for car design, sketching, Photoshop, AI for car design, Blender 3D modeling for beginners and advanced. If you want to first directly jump into Viscom and try it, you can also go to viscom.ai, create a free account and start experimenting now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.